Lauren Winfrey is live with more on just what happened. Lauren. George and Carol, the details of this accident aren't pretty. Denise Fells had just gotten off the bus in this area near her home. She was attempting to cross the street on her motorized scooter. She waited at the median for a red light, and that's when the unthinkable happened. It's this sight of a mangled motorized scooter and the fatal crash that caused its curbside landing that makes Joyce White so impassioned. To say it was an accident to me, it, 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 it's not. It's, it would, could have been avoided if these stupid people out here on the street would stop driving through red lights. White's sister, Denise Fells, was killed Saturday evening when attempting to cross the street at 17th and Valite on her motor scooter. Fells stopped in the median to wait for a red light, but the driver of a purple Chrysler or serious failed to do the same. Stop driving through red lights. You took something. They took something from us. They need to stiffen up these laws with these lights. That's all I have to say. The driver who blew through the red light was struck by a utility van. The car then spun out of control, hitting fails and throwing her and her scooter across the street. An incident which ultimately led to her death and devastation for her family. I know it, it was an accident. Um, but um, that's my sister. I loved her, and I'm definitely going to miss her. And police confirm a 23-year-old man and a 30-year-old man, both from Milwaukee, remain in custody, and the investigation is ongoing. Live on Milwaukee's north side, Lauren Winfrey, today's TMJ4. Heartbreaking. Thank you, Lauren.